top five reasons that your hips are just struggling with double splits. So what is double splits? Legs going this way. This is a single legged split where one leg isn't forward, one leg is back. Number one thing that we're looking for with the alignment of the feet. So what I see is a lot of people when they start to come down into the double split is that they put this foot down, right? So see the edges of my feet are down. This isn't what we're looking for. We are looking for the foot to be active as though it's in mountain pose, right? And so taking the foot and pressing it down, that's no longer in mountain pose. Yeah. Drawing inward in your splits, rather than trying to push the feet out, will assist you in keeping your hips and your knees healthy. What I see is people just kind of lay into the posture and then that starts to put too much pressure on the joints, hip joint and knee joint. And if you're doing that without support, then you're not gonna like it in like 20 years, right? So even when I'm out here, it's as though I'm trying to scrunch. My that allows the muscles to stay strong on its eccentric. So the longest range of motion for the muscle is still activating strong. Three, that you can work your double split. I'm pretty much lower than this. So you can take, these are Yegos, magnetic blocks. They're freaking great, I love them. I probably don't need like this tall of size, but I am gonna go to the lower side today. And this, if you are working on your double splits, I've worked with professional hockey players. Um, if you're working on your double splits, then it's phenomenal to have a little bit of support. So what I'll do is I'll take this support, and this goes on the inner legs, right? Or so inner thighs here. So I'm still support above the knee. I'm still supportive. I can keep the feet really, really active, and now I can kind of hang out in this posture, right? Without screaming at my yoga instructor to get me out of it. You can adjust the height as you start to go down. And that's probably the most little restorative way to get it. Number four right. reason, and that's the pelvic floor. So where your legs plug into your hips, there is a cross section of muscle, and that is your pelvic floor or your mula bandha. And how I describe it is your place between your places, right? <laughs> right, if you get me. So your perineum is actually drawing up. One of the ways that I teach this is if you do one of those uh, prostate coughs, right, and you do the, <laughs> right, what you'll feel is that there's a little muscle that goes back in your upper belly and then um, a muscle deep within you that goes up. When you hold that in your splits, it keeps your inner hips from taking all the weight. And so, described as holding in a tampon, I know it's described, it, but it is what it is, right? And so it's not a Kegel, it's a little deeper, and it includes the upper belly. And so that's the pelvic floor. And if you have a weak pelvic floor, what happens is, is your hips hurt a whole lot, and you're, it's hard to get there. And the final reason why double splits are either hard for you or you're, you may never get them. I'm one of them. I've been practicing yoga for 23 years now and have never hit double split. Why is that? Lack of flexibility? No, I can put my foot behind my head. What it is is that my hips are set up so that as my legs start to move out, my thigh bone actually hits my ilium or my pelvis, right? And so the bone won't let me go any further. And some hips are set up that way. Some hips are not. Where the bone is free of the hip, the, the cusp of the hip is high enough and the legs go out. So if you aren't getting double splits and there's a space that you're stopping and it doesn't necessarily feel painful, it just feels like you're not going anywhere, it's probably your bone and that's just how it is. So I hope that helps, guys, bye.